pay off to. My Lord, uh, in 1928, in the case of Olmsted versus United States, one of the most celebrated justices of the U.S. Supreme Court, Justice Brandei, says as follows. Uh, this is important. Our government is the potent, the omnipresent teacher. For good or for ill, it teaches the whole people by its example. If the government becomes a lawbreaker, it breeds contempt for the law. It invites every man to become a law unto himself. It invites anarchy, end of quote. I quote the words of Justice Brandeis in order to make the point that in the matters, the proceedings before this court, we have been treated to a scenario under which an impeachment process that, if you read the Constitution's clearly, is a process that ought to be a legislative one, a process conducted by the legislative organs of the Kenyan state has conver been converted into an uh, all organs of government project. With the result, my lord, that if the petitioners turns out to be right, you would then be found, find ourselves in a situation whereby, like in BBI, this process of impeachment of the deputy president may fall into, may, may end up being indicted as being a process that ended up being a government project contrary to what was clearly spelled out by our laws. And my lord, if it turns out that all laws were broken and virtually out of the constitutions, I was counting them yesterday, it looks that like 30 provisions of our constitutions have been seriously violated in the manner that this process has been undertaken. Then we have a situation that uh, Justice Bandes had in mind when he talked about the government, which should be the lead in upholding the law, ends up being the principal breaker of the law, the principal violator of the constitutions. It is within your hands, your lordships, and your lordships, to ensure that does not become our scenario. My lord, Masharia, my colleague, emphasized something, but I want to finish by adding something.